Have you ever bought jewelry and realized that it was just a total flop for one reason or another. It could be that you bought really low quality fashion jewelry that literally turned your skin green and started to like tarnish and smell bad. Or maybe it could be that it was a trendier piece and not very timeless and wearing that piece feels a little bit more dated now and the piece just kind of doesn't keep up with where your style is evolving or maybe it's just a piece that you had really high hopes for but realize that you're just really not wearing as much as you thought you would so in today's video i thought i'd explore some pieces that are just really timeless that i feel like you'll never regret buying disclaimer this is obviously just purely my opinion this could be totally different for you so with that out of the way let's hop into the pieces that i feel like you will never regret having so i feel like this idea of jewelry you'll never regret having is kind of contingent on this idea that the jewelry pieces need to be timeless high quality and versatile and one brand that embodies this concept so incredibly is linear so if you guys have been around on my channel for a while you will know that i absolutely love linear and i'm actually getting to partner with them on today's video i've partnered with them on previous videos so you guys probably already know that i am a huge huge fan of their pieces if you guys don't know who linear is linear is all about producing high quality sustainable ethically made timeless jewelry pieces their pieces literally never let me down their pieces are absolutely incredible all their pieces work so well together as well as on their own because they're a direct-to-consumer brand they're able to get you the best price possible they're also sustainable ethically made woman founded and owned so it is always just such an honor to work with a brand that aligns with my personal values so starting off let's talk about earrings I think that it wouldn't be an Emzo jewelry video if I don't talk about some gold hoops Gold hoops are honestly one of my favorite, favorite jewelry pieces to wear. I feel like they go with absolutely everything, and I feel like they just frame the face so beautifully, and I feel like you can always find me wearing a gold hoop. So these are the Jeroen hoops. They are so pretty. Let me bring you guys in, or I'll just scooch up. I love how the shape gets kind of thicker as you reach the bottom of the hoop. I love the graduated form. I feel like it looks very feminine and modern. And while we're here, another iconic jewelry piece that I feel like you will never regret having is just a diamond stud. These are my third piercing are also from Linear and they're actually from their Lab Diamond and Solid Gold collection. These are just so, so classic and also really affordable for being solid gold and diamond. If you want to learn more about Linear's solid gold and diamond options, I'll link the video in the cards and the description so that you guys can check that out. Absolutely stunning. I love, love, love the stack. And I know you guys are probably thinking, I really did not need to watch this video to know that gold hoops are timeless classic pieces. However, I will say that the gold hoop concept, I feel, is very broad and allows for a lot of room for exploration. I think that there's so many different types of hoops. For example, these are a little bit more medium, but also slightly bolder and chunkier because of the graduated shape. However, there's also really thin, kind of endless hoops that are a little bit more delicate in their form. And there's also small, tiny, tiny, tiny huggy hoops that you can explore. You can explore hoops with a dangling charm. I own so, so many different gold hoops, but I feel like each of them has their own kind of voice and role within my collection. So I feel like gold hoops are an area where I feel like I do have a lot of them, but they're so different and unique in their own way that I don't feel like my collection is really repetitive because all these pieces are so unique. And diamond studs, they're classic. They're easy to mix and match, especially if you have multiple piercings like me. They not only play really well as main characters, but also as supporting characters within your stack. Moving on next to necklaces. You guys have seen this necklace before on my channel. It's the Astrid necklace. So beautiful, freshwater pearls. They're affordable and also have a gorgeous luster to them. I feel like pearls really just like enhance your skin's natural glow from within. Also, pearls are just like very classic and timeless, but I find that smaller, more organically shaped pearls do feel a little bit more modern. So I would highly recommend that to people who are maybe looking into pearls that don't want to evoke very mature energy with the pearls that they choose. So I think that smaller pearls work really well for people who are going for more of a beachy look. Next, let's talk about rings. Rings are probably my favorite jewelry piece. And a lot of people tell me that 
they're not very comfortable with wearing rings because it kind of feels weird to have something on their hands they're kind of used to that feeling of not having anything on their hands and i've gotten to the point where i personally don't really feel like there's anything on my hands when i wear my rings because i've kind of gone off the deep end in terms of over maximizing my ring stack but for beginners i would highly recommend thin stacking rings and working your way up to slightly more statement bolder chunkier rings because logically thinner rings are going to be more lightweight less noticeable and intrusive some stacking rings from linear that i absolutely love this one is actually another one from their solid gold and diamond collection this is the miriam ring absolutely stunning it's one of my favorite everyday rings i don't worry about it as much because it is solid gold it's so dainty and delicate but really packs a punch another stacker ring that i absolutely love is this new one the runa ring i love the shape of this one i love how it's this wavy organic design it's so so pretty again very thin and delicate so i really do not feel bothered by this ring whatsoever when it's on my fingers i love how this one is so different from the other rings that i have and i can wear it on its own or i can wear it stacked on top of some other rings pieces that i got this time are gold for may meaning that the inside of the pieces is sterling silver but they're coated in a thick gold layer so they're made to last and these are classified under fine jewelry unlike traditional plated gold pieces another ring that i got this time is the rel ring this i would classify as a stacking ring but I would say it's more of a statement ring. Dome rings have been so incredibly popular and for good reason. There's, the shape is so timeless, but they don't feel super duper unapproachable in terms of more statement, bolder rings. So I would classify these as something that I would stack in a daily stack, which is why I'm choosing to include it in this category. I think that having a slightly more bold ring is perfect on days that you're trying to bring more attention to your ring stack. Maybe if you're trying to transition your look from day to night, this is a really great choice to have in your jewelry arsenal because it really is able to elevate your look to the next level. And finally, just to wrap things up for a little bit of sparkle, I think you can never go wrong with a tennis bracelet and tennis necklace set. I've talked about it a lot in a previous video, so I won't go super in depth into it, but they're absolutely stunning. I love the lore behind those pieces. It's really near and dear to my heart, especially because I myself am a tennis player. It's just a really kind of cute analogous moment. But yes, I would highly recommend bringing in some tennis necklace and bracelet options into your collection, especially from Linear, because they're so much more affordable when you buy them from Linear, as opposed to purchasing real diamonds. That would probably make a very, very big dent in your wallet. The Linear ones really pack a punch for a fraction of the price, so I'd highly, highly recommend. So that's all today's video. Thank you so, so much to Linear for sponsoring today's video. I am always so honored to work with them, and I'm just so eternally grateful for the opportunity to try out their incredible pieces and share them with you all. So if you're interested in picking up any of the pieces I mentioned in today's video, I have a code EMZO20 that gets you 20% off your entire purchase. This is an incredible deal to take advantage of, especially because Linear's pieces are already so affordable. But with there's a plane but with this coupon code you're able to get an even better deal so i'd highly highly recommend taking advantage of this amazing opportunity to score some incredible pieces so that's all for today's video i hope you guys enjoyed and i hope you guys got some inspiration from this video thank you so so much for watching and i'll see you guys in my next video bye